Hey everybody, it's Clay and Kano here for a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 27, 2020. And which, for this update, um, I'm actually going to split this into two parts because yesterday I did, did, I did film a video of my movie update yesterday, but it won't, it won't upload to you on YouTube for some stupid reason, so I decided to upload this in two parts, so yep. And for this update, I got 22 VHS tapes, 21 DVDs, and 3 Blu-rays for this update. So yep, I have a total of 43 movies to show, in which, yesterday, I went out to 3 different stores. I went out to good, my local Goodwill store, and I got 22 VHS tapes and 6 DVDs. Then I stopped at Gameplay Video Game Store, and I got 10 DVDs and 2 Blu-rays. Then finally, I last, I went to Pat's Records and I got 5 DVDs, so yep. So for part 1 of this update, this will be focused on the VHS tapes, and part 2 will be focused on the DVDs and the 2 Blu-rays, so yep. So anyways, let's get this started. For, for this part, we're going to show you all the VHS tapes I got from Google yesterday, so yep. So let's get started. The first three are clamshell cases. April 13th, 1995. I actually used to have this VHS tape back in the day, but I got rid of it out of stupidity. Now I got it back in the collection. And this movie's pretty rare because this movie's never is not is still not out on DVD. It's only on VHS. So this one's an extremely rare movie. The Warner Home Video logo is not on the ink clip for some reason. It has Warner Vision on the label. August 6, 2000. It has an ad for Warner Brothers Halloween videos. This last clamshell was a slipcover case cup into a clamshell case. This is another tape I used to have, but don't have it anymore. Now I got it back in the collection. And this one's a Polygram Pictures movie, originally released by Universal. November 21st, 1986, so it's printed off the 48th week of 1986. It's a former all from, from Meyer Video Center. The next two are cut boxes. This is not the actual cover, this is some, like, printout video cover. This is from the Nostalgia Immersion. This is my second Nostalgia Immersion tape. And this tape has two movies on it. This one originally came from the Westboro Public Library. And this VHS tape is from 1978. So this one's an extremely old tape. So I couldn't pass it up. Has that dollar sticker on there and the VHS back cover um is right in here. This is a Ryan Pitchers movie released on video by HBO Canon Video. 
Four of some unknown video store. May 7th, 1987. Now let's get on to the slipcover cases. For some reason, this feature, I heard it's not on the DVD of this movie, which is really, which I don't know why they didn't bother putting it on the DVD, this movie. The 20th week of 1999. This VHS tape was brand new, sealed when I bought it, but I already opened it up. This one's the 1962 version of Beauty and the Beast, released by United Artists. March 13th, 1993, even though this is a 1992 VHS. This one, I believe, is actually a TV movie from the Six Million Dollar Man. Because I checked this, and it has the Six Million Dollar Man intro at the beginning. It has prunes, so we all know what this has at the end. The 19th week of Night Time 3, even though this speech is from 1986, and this tape still has the MC Home Video logo at the beginning. This one's an MGM movie. Has that owner, but it's ripped. The label's a bit ripped. February 22nd, 1993. This one's an MGM Contemporary Classics VHS. This one's from United Artists. May 19th, 1999, even though this is a 1997 VHS. This one's my second Charlie Champ Centennial collection tape I have. The other one I have is um, The Great Dictator. The box says 1992 from Fox Video and CBS Fox Video, but the tape itself has the key video label from 1990, even though these key video tapes came out in 1989 from the Charlie Champlin series. The, the, the 39th week of 1992, and, this, and believe it or not, this tape actually has the key video logo 
at the beginning instead of the Fox Video and CBS Fox Video logo at the beginning. So this is actually the 1989 key video release inside the 1992 box. And this next tape is a two tape set. This is the widescreen edition. The 34th week of 1997, both tapes. Someone named Rick used to own this, but it's mine now. This one's an MGM movie. August 30th, Nighttime 1. This is another tape that was brand new sealed when I bought, but I already opened it up. This one's from Largo Entertainment, released on video by Columbia TriStar. The tape itself has the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo on it. The 17th week of 2001, and this VHS tape has the, the rare 2000 Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo at the beginning, just like my VHS of Random Hearts. So yeah. This one's a full model from Blockbuster. I have Mission Impossible 1 on VHS. I do have the third film on DVD. And I have Ghost Protocol on Blu-ray. So, I mean, I have Rogue Nation on Blu-ray. So, I do hope to get um, Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol, and Fallout sometime. The 41st week of 2000, Charles Henry Fox Selection Tape, I do know Brandon's Movie Corner has this tape, and his copy when he got it was brand new sealed, but, but this copy was used. The 37th week of Night Tide 5. I actually used to have this movie on Laserdisc, but got rid of it. Now I got a VHS copy of it, of this movie. This one's a Columbia movie released on video by Good Times. One of the many Columbia Pictures movies that Good Times from Video bought the rights to. Already took off the recording tab, and we all know th and we probably know what this table will have at the end.
the 20th, the, the 20th week of 2001, former awesome unknown video store. Columbia Pictures movie. Former from Blockbuster. The 33rd week of 1999. Trust Our Purchase Movie. This one was released on video by SVS Triumph Video, which is a sub label of Columbia Trust Our Home Video. And, and it has the RC Claim Pictures Home Video logo still on it. Blockbuster from a rental. The 45th week of Nighttime 1, and this VHS actually has the RCA Claim Pictures Home Video logo at the beginning, instead of the SVS Triumph Video logo, which I don't know why, but that's what it is. Blockbuster from a rental, or another Blockbuster from a rental. First from Blockbuster on November 2nd, nighttime 8. And here's the last VHS for this update, and this will be the last video for the, the last update for this part. And this movie I've never heard about, but this one's a French movie with English yellow subtitles. And this one's from Sony Pictures Classics. The 51st week of 1997, and that's it for part one of this update, which is all the VHS, and and stick around for part two, which will be all involving all the DVDs and Blu-rays that I got, so stay tuned.